It's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. The gunshots are coming from that fuck. Oh. Ow. Get down. Um. Ah. High velocity shots, that's what Son of a bitch got me. Slippery fella. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm -hmm. So I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What'd you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you, gentlemen, for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. Mm -hmm. I want to get back in the open country of the West. What's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. <sighs> Magicians for sport. Okay, let's see what else. If three missions, we either go to no. Oh my God. Let's just go to Missed you, boy. Tell me these are the last. We're gonna rob them and then we're out for good. Like you boys had some trouble. 
Yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I'm supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. How about the stables, I think? Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. Hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Passing you. Yep. Crazy old fool. If he only knew, he just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig of shit. I'm sure. 5,000 for horses. They must be rich. Yeah, he uh. doesn't know what he's talking about. But we get even a third of that. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's... Head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Whoa! Control that horse. Uh. That's it. 
Nice and easy. No need to rush. You don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Staples just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Head around the front, hitch up there. Yeah. All right, let's hitch up here. Sack. Oh. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. There you go, boy. Cerberus. Ah, uh -huh, greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy whoa, now. Whoa. Easy. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Easy. You're okay. Oh, there. Easy. Easy. Dude, calm down. Dad. What did I do wrong? I, I'm, I'm sorry, my man. He just wanted to be calm. I couldn't do anything. I was trying for like a minute trying to calm him down. What do you want me to do? Put a bullet in his foot and be like, oh. He's calm now, like, that's not gonna happen. Jesus, what do you want me to do? This here's Cerberus. Oh my god. Go, boy. Uh, three, sir, huh? Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Alright, I'll grab the one. The one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Oh my god. Good boy. Okay. Easy now. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Easy, easy. Easy. Please. It's okay.
Can I lead the horse? Yes. Calm down, you don't need Austin, to... You ride forward. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! I'll what the hell? Wait, question, where is Clemens Cove? Oh, it's where we, I don't know. Get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Come here. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that so sure pop i'm clay davies that's my brother clive we're twins john arthur javier so what are you cuban no i don't like cuban that's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. <sighs> sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. 
And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town? And maybe someone there will hang you. Gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagine we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Why, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And... What's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. But I don't want to. Can't believe it's just not accepted anymore. Can you pick that up, buddy? Jack will get in there. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. Oh, missed call. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, Alex. I had quite a... Here.
nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Josiah, how have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The whip this of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. <sighs> here. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, a fella called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> Hello. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he says. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Yay. Trick shot. My horse. Is that your horse? Whose horse is that? Okay, let's go. This way. I have no idea where I'm going. Giddy up. Where? Okay. Has a plan. Go! Easy. 
Here we are. This is the spot. Okay. This this one do. more. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. What were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, old, and very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please keep that gun in its holster for one. Oh. No, 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 it's a small benefit. Blackwater. Just that. Mrs. Chester Damson. I flatter. Buddy. Stop the coach, my good man. Stop the coach. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth.
Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Yep, three seventy five. I got. Now go back to the camp and then talk to Micah and then go from there. Give me all your money, bro. Got any more opera singers for me to rob? No. What is that icon? They've cut it, okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch. You tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The Adriscals. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adriscal boys. On the road in the town? Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't. But we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've got to take. I killed Combs' brother a long time ago. Then he killed woman I love dear. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me with 
Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Zach. Go away. Go away, away. Imagine if it said right here. Did I? That's a mission. I have to go over there. Oh, I'm skipping that mission. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Whoa. Yep. I hate Mike's missions. They're so boring. so long now I can barely remember a time when it was different and you're still fighting him now make no mistake of that here he goes doubting Thomas is there any plan you ain't sour on well maybe you're right just nervous let's not waste any more lives needlessly I ain't costing lives here I'm saving them what did you say we had Pinkerton's coming after us because of Blackwater and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head? Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous Look you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. Ooh. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. I hope you do, because I would not protect hey, you. Up there, men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. Such a liar. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Yes. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. I don't know what happened the to him. Of this great nation, man created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Nah. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Yep.
It looked at me in a very... Oh god. Gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world, pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. That's calm, A lot of heat on us this time. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? I am so confused. How the hell is he not dead? Cinema like Sean, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's Kieran. Bang, backstabbing, backstabber. Crap between you two. 
We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had them. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of it, hand you, then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> I miss it. Gonna, yep. the... <laughs> You're not pouring it. It's gonna melt it. On my horse? Uh Go on my horse, I can just escape. To end. Just the whole actually my horse has my weapons. Uh gotta make it so difficult. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't wanna be here with a lot of prisoners out! Don't let him get to those weapons! Uh, it's all over! Uh, uh, How'd he see me? Oh, that is some bogus, bro. How did, how did, how, how did he spot me? How, so he's telling me the guy that I'm about to go over to that's closer to me didn't see me, but the guy. 
stupid game, bro. I swear sometimes. One thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of me. Get on your horse! Idiot! Ah! I can't see anything. Right there. To the patch. Yes, to the patch. So wait, um, let's keep going this way. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. My dear boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah. yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he wants. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Safe now. Uh, that's pretty intense. Uh, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Dear. Dude, honestly, if this was the ending of the game, I wouldn't be that angry. Because it could be a setup to a third game. Well, unfortunately, fortunately, it's not. So. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How is my beard? How are you feeling? Oh, uh, not about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. All right, gone.